All right, guys, and we are back with yet another uh, Mortal Kombat 1 trailer that is coming out of the Comic-Con panel. And the shocking thing is, okay, so this is called the DLC trailer, and it seems to be really short. So I assume it's just like how they've done previously, like a really quick uh, DLC, like, image preview um but the crazy thing is that i'm being told from people that are in the panel that there's still going to be more trailers after this <laughs> so um and and not just like for the mk movie or anything but actually for the game so that's insane so i want to let's watch this it's going to be a short one so this is going to be a short video but let's check it out together there again there has been supposed leaks speculation surrounding this so i have an idea of who it might be We'll see if it's confirmed, and at the very least, if it is, if those leaks were true, we will see what these characters look like. So, let's check it out. Here we go. A battle between good and evil is eternal. Okay, Lou. Okay, Omni-Man. All right, so I think this is kind of confirming those leaks, right? Is that... Is that Ermac? Oh, shit. Peacemaker, John Cena looks great. John C Quan Chi looks great. That's Takeda? And Hoblander, there he is. Okay, all right. So the leaks were completely correct about the first DLC pack. Omni-Man, Quan Chi, Peacemaker, Ermac, Takeda, and Homelander. And okay. In addition, it's saying the Jean-Claude Van Damme skin for Johnny Cage, which we knew about, and there will be five new cameo characters that will also be released with this DLC uh, pack. But I'm just gonna go back and look at some of them quickly. And I can't take too much time on this because there's gonna be more trailers, but... All right, so first of all, Homelander and Peacemaker. They look exactly like Anthony Starr and John Cena. So bravo to them, to those guys. Uh, so far, so good with that. I'm really curious if they're gonna be doing the voices and stuff too, that'd be cool. But it's actually the Mortal Kombat characters that I'm more interested in. So Quan Chi, I'm not like, he, he looks like Quan Chi, right? Just like an updated design version of him. But Ermac, okay, Ermac has never looked more dead than he does in this. <laughs> um, uh, I wonder what people are going to think about that. Um, and if he's going to have also like a more traditional ninja design with like a mask and stuff. Or if he's just going to look like this. Because I bet some people are not going to like that design. But he looks really creepy. And Takeda, I'm really curious about this because he looks nothing like he did before. And there's been a lot of uncertainty about whether this is going to be the Takeda that we have known from MKX or a completely like different version. Could this even be like the Takeda that first formed uh, the Shirai Ryu? But he's looking very futuristic in this. So I don't know. Like I have no clue where that's going to be going. But hey. So far, they all look great, and I can't wait to find out what else they're going to tell us about tonight at this panel, because this has already been an insane day. So, going to wrap this quick video up here, guys, but let me know your thoughts about the confirmation about these DLC characters and how you think they're looking so far. Thank you so much for joining me, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.